Hello and welcome to eCard Widget. Today we're going to go over some example use cases. Getting started is super easy. Just create your first eCard and add your own branding. The first example I'm going to show you is Dwayne The Rock Johnson's company, Terramana. They used eCard Widget for a Valentine's Day marketing campaign where they offered Valentine's Day cards for free to any website visitor to come in here, choose a design, fill it out, personalize it, and then send it to a loved one. You can see here that you can preview the design, you can email it, you can schedule it, you can import from your address book, you can share via SMS, Facebook, social media, copy the link, all that kind of stuff. So, and the other example is Comfort Company. So they did the same thing, they offered free e-cards, but they actually make it a year around thing where people can send sympathy e-cards and they have all types of different categories here. That's a really great option as well. The next use case is you can have a post-purchase example where you attach your e-card to a product. And so when that product is purchased on the order confirmation page, they can then send the e-card from this page. And this can be used for all sorts of things. It's a great word of mouth. It doesn't necessarily have to be an e-card product. You could attach this to any product and allow your customers to then share about the product. So that's another example. Another great example is the ability for you to attach the e-card to the product page itself. So you can see on Single Homeless Project, they have great introduction at the top. And then on the product page, they have added the e-card form to the page so that the customer can choose their design, they can preview it, and then they can personalize it, and then they can add it to the cart. And once it's added to the cart, they can then check out and the e-card will be sent to their recipient. Another example of the same sort of product page e-card is SolarAid. You can see here that they also have a design and you can schedule it, add it to the cart. You can also be notified when the recipient opens it. And then you also have another nonprofit that's attaching it to their product page as well, which is a really good use case. And then we have Foundation for Peace as well. So those are some really good examples for you to take a look at. Before we move on, I wanted to cover what else is available to you. So we have cross-platform support from WordPress to Squarespace to Wix to HTML, you name it. We also offer multi-language support. We have an address book feature. Pretty much whatever scenario you need, it's covered. Okay, so let's dive in. First, we're gonna install the Shopify app on your store. Then we're gonna create your first e-card. Basically all the examples I showed you, and then that's it. So let's dive in. Step one, we're gonna go ahead and install the Shopify app on your store. So to do this, we're gonna to go to the app button here and we're going to search for eCard widget and then hit search. And now we're going to find the app right here and we're going to click add app. And now we're gonna click install app, okay? And then there's a button here to continue to eCard widget. So we're gonna click there. All right, and now shows us that we've installed it and we've got this landing page. We're gonna go ahead and log in because I've already got a, a login. Okay, so we're on our eCard account. We're hooked up. We can see that it's connected to our store and we can go ahead and I've got some eCards here that I already set up, but we're gonna go ahead and create our first eCard for you. And we're gonna click add eCard. This is gonna be a thank you card. So thank you. We can set the email subject. So when someone receives it in their inbox, this is what they're gonna see. And we're just gonna leave this a default. This sender name will be replaced. So if Bob sends it, whenever it re reaches the inbox, this is gonna re be replaced with Bob. Or if Tim sends it, or if Jill. So it's dynamic. This is like a merge tag that gets updated. And there's a little tip about that. There's actually more as well. So you can use, you can include other things as well. The sender's name, recipient name, email. You have these merge tags to use. So that's handy. They're, they're called field text tokens. And so first we need our graphic. So we're gonna go ahead and create a graphic for our card. So this is the preview on the right side. You can see there's text heading and then there's a body and then there's the image. And what you can do is you can either upload your own image. The dimensions are included here. The, they're 1500 pixels max or one megabyte max. And you can include animated GIFs, JPEG, PNG. And so you can upload directly or you can choose a template or start from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the design tool and I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and grab a template. 
So we want a thank you card. Here's the thank you card. And this looks great. I do want to add our logo to the image. So I'm going to click add image and I'm going to grab my logo. There we go. We've got our logo in there. I'm just going to put it up here in the corner. Just as a good thing to have in there just to keep the branding consistent. So I'm going to click apply and I've got the title. I'm going to look at scheduling. So that's going to allow senders to schedule it for later if they want, or if it was like, a holiday, they'd be able to send, set it for Christmas day. You've got redirect after sending. So say after they send the e-card, you want them to be redirected to your website or a donation page or something like that. If you want to have a video, you we also have video support as well. I showed you the field text tokens slash merge tags and then the meta section. So when it's shared on social media, you can have an alternative title and copy for the description that shows up. So that pretty much is a good overview of that. Oh, let's jump back over here. You can change this title. So I could say you received a thank you card and in the body, I could say something. I want to include the sender's name. So I'm going to grab this and then I'm going to put it in here. Say sender's name sent you an amazing thank you card. And I think I'll just leave it at that. You can also, of course, you can change the text color, the font. You can add additional images in here. So if I wanted to add a logo or something, so you see you can add, upload images in here. You can edit the HTML so you can add in all your own HTML customized. And let's just keep it simple though. And we've got our first card. You can see in the preview, there's no branding yet aside from what we put in this image. So we're gonna go ahead and save and there we go. So now that we have our image, let's go ahead and preview this thing. All right, so now we've got our logo that was just added, or our new e-card that was just added, the thank you card. You can see that I've got a few other cards available. And this is the widget, right? So this is where people can come. This is kind of a gallery, so it shows all the e-cards. So if you click share, you can then fill this out. This text right here, it's basically just showing the body text, but if you update the, the meta section, for the description, it will then override this and display. So that's something to keep in mind. So if I wanna send it from myself to someone else, I can just fill this out, add the recipient, personal message, and then, then I can preview it to make sure it looks good and hit send. So you have all these other options over here. I can change the theme to more of a masonry style. You can change which sending options are available, right? So you've got SMS, Facebook, all that. You can control what's available there. You can change the language. You can actually set your own custom language. You can change the these colors so you can set your own style that matches your brand. So let's say mine's red, so you can change the style there. That's great. You can there's custom CSS. You can do white label setup where you hide this powered by and any reference to our brand. For instance, it's here as well. You can disable all that. You've got the other options here. You can make the personal message right now is required. However, you can make it optional or vice versa. The thumb style right now, it's um, you can change the background of that to gray, it changes to gray. You can change the height of the cards. You can switch this back to default. It does more of a fill, a color fill, which is nice. And then you can also do a cover where it crops the image to fit in the shape there. So you can also change this text. So I can change it to send, now it says send. You can change the overlay caption. So you can say click to send oh, and there, there it goes. So it says click to send underneath. So I can turn that on or off and go ahead and leave that off. Let's see, and you can change how many e-cards show up per row. So I can do three per row, four or five, and I'm just gonna do two. And you can also do pagination. So if I wanna do two per page, there we go. So then I can have it paginated, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that at zero and it'll just display all of them. And then you can limit how many e-cards are sent per session. So basically this gets so per day, per session, the user can send up to five in this case. You can see send up to five. And once they run out, they're out. And you can have read receipts. So when I send this, I can use this checkbox and then I get notified whenever my recipients open 
the e-card. And then I can also include a link within the receipt for the sender to send more e-cards if I want, which is off by default. So that's a full overview of customizing the widget. Let's hop over the next step. Say we wanna add our logo, our branding, all that stuff. We're gonna go over to the customize section. We can add a heading title or, so it'll display text at the top, or we can include a logo. So we're just gonna include a logo in here. So we're gonna include our website and let's go ahead and hit save. So that'll show up. So there's our logo at the top and we can change the background to something a little bit more on brand. Let's do like a light blue and you can change the background at the top or of the body, the links, you can set all these. We're gonna keep it pretty simple though. So you can change the font size as well and social media links. So we can add our Facebook and our Twitter and our LinkedIn, all that kind of stuff. And then that's all, that's it. So we're gonna hit save changes, take a look, make sure this looks good. Okay, so we've got our social media links, got our branding, everything looks good. So that's the ability to customize the e-card layout. We've customized the widget. And now the next thing we need to do is we're gonna go into the setup phase of adding it, basically covering the examples from earlier where we had the free e-cards, the post checkout example and the product page form. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the embedded free e-cards on the public web page for just any website visitor to come along and send. So to do that, we're gonna go to the add to Shopify tab. We're gonna embed like all these cards. We could do an individual card if we wanted, but for this example, I think offering the gallery for customers or website visitors to choose for multiple options makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna go in here and you, this option allows you to select an individual e-card. Again, we're gonna select the gallery and we're gonna grab this, this code, this embed code, copy it to the clipboard, and then we're gonna go back to our store and we're gonna go to the button right here and we're gonna click pages. So we're just gonna add a public page and we're gonna click add page. We're gonna click, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna name this send an e-card and choose, we're gonna add some text to the top, choose and send one of our amazing e-cards. And then to do this, we gotta paste, now we've got our embed code, we're gonna paste that in, but you don't wanna paste it in here because that would be broken. It'll just display this on the page. You actually have to go into this show HTML button and then we're just gonna add it down here and then we're gonna hit save and now we're gonna get view page and there we go. So we've got our e-cards there and they look great. We can now send them, perfect. Okay, so that looks good. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the, you know, actually you may want to know how to say add it to the home page. So pages that use the page builder in Shopify, you need to have certain blocks. So to show you what I'm talking about, for instance, you come in here you click customize, we're gonna customize a homepage. So you have these blocks where you can add stuff. So the problem is, I think, is usually it's hard to add HTML. Now, I previously, okay, yeah, so there's no way to add code right now. So if you go back to your account and you click help, there's a option in here, all right? So there's, a, there's an article in here that says add e-cards to Shopify pages using custom HTML section. So we've got to add a custom HTML section. So we're going to copy this code here that's been provided. There's even a video that'll show you how to do this. And actually that's what I'm going to go ahead and recommend is to go ahead and follow that video if you need to add it at, as a, a section to the site. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this. So we're going to set up the post checkout where we're going to attach to card, right? We're going to attach a card to a product. So for post checkout, we are going to hop over here. We're gonna to go to products and actually, sorry. So for the next part for post checkout, we're gonna go back over here and within this same section, we can attach to any product. So where's our, we, I have a thank you product and let's see what's going on here. Let's click add to Shopify. Oh, maybe I forgot to add a product. So let's go into our store and go to products and add your products, my bad. Okay, so we need to, so for the next part of this, we are going to add, we're gonna set up the post, for the next part of this, we're gonna do a post checkout setup. So we're going to attach an e-card to a product. So real quick, I'm gonna create my product. Thank you. E-cards is gonna be on the store. And then I'm gonna add 
an image. Let's just go ahead and add the image that from the e-card, which should be in our store or in here. So let's go to thank you. We're just gonna hit save image and let's go back to our store and product page. Let's go back to our product page and we're just gonna drop that image in there. All right, send an e-card. And we're gonna go ahead and disable the track quantity, hit save. And now we are going to pop in here. Okay, so we can take a look at our page. And right now there's no anything attached. So let's go back over to this, let's refresh. Let's go to the add to Shopify. And here we go, so now we've got this. We don't wanna attach the entire gallery. We're just gonna attach this ind individual card. And here you have two options. You've got the product page form, in the post-purchase widget. So the post-purchase widget is what displays on the order completion page like so. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. We'll come back and we'll do this other example for adding it to the page like that. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on. Here's a few options. You can actually set the way it displays on the order confirmation page. You can change the text. We're gonna leave it as the default. I'm gonna hit save. All right, so now it's been updated. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead, now that we've attached the e-card to the product, we're gonna go ahead and test we're gonna go ahead and purchase it as a test. Buy it now. Okay, I'm gonna click uh, complete purchase. Okay, now the order is complete. We're on the order confirmation page. We've checked out. You can see the order right here. You can see the e-card that was attached right here. The customer can send an e-card by opening it up and adding the recipient, personal message, and all that stuff. And you can, of course, customize all this, but that's how that works. Now that we've done the post-checkout order confirmation page e-card widget setup, the next thing and the final is setting up the e-card form on the product page itself. So here we go. Here's the product. There's no form yet. So to do this, we're gonna go back to our options in our dashboard, and we're gonna go in here, and we had the post checkout, post purchase widget, so we're gonna turn that off now. And now we're gonna turn on the form. So you can see here, there's the form, and there is a recommendation to set this up to where you, you add this code to your, temp, to your theme. All the instructions are right here. This just makes sure that it loads in time and there's no issues. If you don't do this, you could have a situation where the customer clicks add to cart before our form has a chance to load. I definitely recommend you follow the instructions here and do that. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna Go ahead and add the form and hit save. And now we're gonna go over here to the product page and we're gonna hit refresh. And now we have the product form on the page or the e-card form on the page. And I can add my recipient. So from Tim, so from me to Sarah, my wife, and add a personal message. And I'm gonna get I want to get notified whenever she opens it and I can schedule it but I'm gonna go ahead and not do that and I can also preview it to make sure that I like it so I can go down here I see my personal message it looks good I'm gonna hit back and now I'm gonna hit add to cart okay so now I've added it to my cart and all I have to do is hit checkout all right and then I'm gonna complete the order okay now my e-card has been sent now that the order has completed okay so she just received the email that I sent her and you can see the personal message and everything exactly as we would expect. And uh, so that that's it. That covers the ability to embed it on your website, to add it for post-checkout, and add it for adding a pre-checkout product page form. So all three of those have been covered in this video. I hope that's been helpful. I hope you're excited to get started and really add value to your customers with this fun interactive tool. And if you need any help, feel free to grab time on my calendar shoot me an email. I'm always happy to help and I hope you have a lot of fun with the product and thanks for watching. Bye.